Hi, today we will explain the turns ratio test of the transformer which is commonly referred to as TTR. So what is TTR? TTR is the ratio of the phase voltage on HV side of the transformer to the phase voltage on LV side of the transformer. So basically TTR is equal to V1 by V2 or alternately it is also equal to N1 by N2 where N1 is the number of turns on the primary side of the transformer and N2 is the number of turns on the secondary side of the transformer. TTR is basically carried out to detect major faults in minor insulation of a transformer. So first we define major faults and minor insulation of a transformer. Minor insulation of a transformer is basically the intra-turn insulation. That is the insulation between turns of HV windings and the insulation between the turns of LV windings. Major faults of a transformer include the insulation failure between HV and LV windings and the insulation failure between any winding and ground. So what is the main purpose of ratio test? Its primary purpose is to find any shorted turns in any of the transformer windings due to the failure of the insulation. And it is also used to detect any problem between the connection of winding and selector switch of the tape changer. Some of the other purposes of ratio test are that it can be used to check the polarity of single phase transformer. Similarly, TTR can also be used to find the unknown primary or secondary voltage if either of them is known and similarly we can also find the number of turns on primary or secondary side if either of them is known. TTR is also used to detect open circuit fault in any of the transformer windings. When to perform TTR test? Well, TTR test is performed on a transformer when it is newly installed or it is under fault. Similarly, TTR test is also performed before and after overhauling of the transformer to make sure that the connection between the tap changer and the windings are intact. It's important to mention here that TTR is the ratio of the phase voltages on HV and LE side of the transformer and not the line voltages. Similarly, TTR must be performed for each phase and for each tape position separately. So how do we relate the phase voltage and line voltage? For a delta connected transformer, phase voltage is the same as the line voltage, whereas for a star connected transformer, phase voltage is equal to the line voltage divided by under root 3. Now we define the nomenclature that is used for different transformer connections. For delta connection on HV side, red phase is usually denoted by the capital A, yellow phase is denoted by capital B, and the blue phase is denoted by capital C. Similarly, capital letters R, Y, and B can also be used for red, yellow and blue phases respectively. The LV side of the transformer small letters A, B and C are used for the three phases. Similarly, for a star connection, the phases on the HV side of the transformer are denoted by capital A, B, C and the neutral is defined by capital N, whereas on LV side of the transformer, the neutral is defined by the small n. In delta connection, the voltages of different phases are made with respect to each other. Whereas in star connection, the voltages are made with respect to the neutral point. For a three phase transformer connected in delta delta mode, the TTR for different phases will look like this. Similarly, for a three phase transformer connected in delta star mode, the TTR for different phases will look like this. The commonly used testing sets for the measurement of TTR are made by the Mager company. The testing set will calculate the actual turns ratio of the transformer and the percentage error between the measured ratio and the calculated ratio from the nameplate data of the transformer. It will also show the excitation current and phase deviation for each phase of the transformer. We explain TTR with an example. Suppose we have a 66 oblique 11 kV 3 phase transformer connected in star star mode. First of all, we find the calculated ratio from the nameplate data of the transformer. For this purpose, we calculate the phase voltages on both the HV and LV side of the transformer. So the calculated ratio turns out to be 6. Next, we will find the actual turns ratio of the transformer through TTR test. First of all, isolate and de-energize the transformer. We connect the H terminal of the TTR testing set with the HV terminals of the transformer and X terminal of the TTR set with the LV terminals of the transformer. After that, we press the test button on the TTR set and it will start performing the TTR test. This is the result of the actual test performed on the transformer. As we can see that the actual ratio slightly varies from the calculated ratio of the nameplate data. The percentage error is given. Also the excitation current and phase deviation for each phase is explained. This test is performed for the nominal tape position that is tape position number 2. 
The formula for the percentage error is calculated ratio minus actual or mere ratio divided by calculated ratio. Similarly, these are the results for the TTR test performed on other tape positions of the transformer. Next, we come across the analysis or interpretation of the results. As TTR is the ratio of the voltages on the primary and secondary side of the transformer, all alternately the ratio of the turns on the primary and secondary side of the transformer. If TTR increases, it means that either N1 increases or N2 decreases. Well, N1 cannot increase because the number of turns cannot increase by itself. Now looking at the second possibility that N2 can decrease, well there is a proper justification for this scenario because the number of turns can decrease if there is a short circuit between the turns on the second side of the transformer. So if TTR increases, it means there is a short circuit and insulation failure between the turns on the LV side of the transformer. On the other hand, if TTR decreases, it means that either N1 decreases or N2 increases. Well, N2 cannot increase by itself as the reason already explained earlier. However, N1 can decrease, that is number of turns are shorted on the primary side. So, if TTR decreases, it means that turns are shorted and there is insulation failure between turns on the primary side of the transformer. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe our channel for more videos and feel free to ask any question in the comment section.